Life as an integrated circuit is hard. Electric and magnetic interference fields from neighbouring components and other devices jeopardise its function. This is why each circuit has to undergo an EMC test before it can be used. Everything is OK if it passes the test. But if it fails, the fault has to be located in an arduous search. Disturbance pulses generated by an ESD generator are normally used in fault localization nowadays. But every ESD generator also emits unwanted electric and magnetic fields. These interference fields change whenever the ESD generator is rotated or inclined. These fields are another source of interference for the IC. An ESD test performed with a common ESD generator cannot be reproduced and is not suitable to pinpoint a fault. The P331-2 ESD generator from Lange EMV Technik is free from unwanted electric and magnetic interference fields. ESD tests performed with the P331-2 have pinpoint accuracy and can be reproduced exactly. The P331-2 is shielded and so small that each individual IC pin can be tested reliably. Let's place the test IC on the test board. With a surface area of 10 by 10 centimetres, the ground adapter provides enough space for every IC. The ground plane supplies a uniform reference potential for the P331-2 ESD generator and test IC. The connection board is integrated in the ground plane. Several interfaces are available here to feed in current and complex signals to the test IC. The IC test results can also be read out. The connection board has three LEDs for direct IC monitoring. The test setup also includes a burst power station. This supplies the P331-2 ESD generator with voltage and control signals. The BPS203 client software is used to set the pulse repetition frequency, the voltage and polarity of the ESD pulse. The pulse of the P331-2 ESD generator can be injected in the IC via a series resistor via a coupling network or directly via the IC pin. The oscilloscope probe head is used to monitor the signals from the IC. A disturbance pulse is now applied to the IC. Let's gradually increase the voltage of the ESD pulse. We can see that the IC fails at a voltage of 1.5 kV. The P331-2 probe and the IC test system allow ESD tests on ICs without interaction. Lange EMV Technik offers a range of other test systems for extensive EMC tests on ICs.